the kissing bug is actually an insect that carries very horrific diseases and uh, the amazing um, oh, we were, uh, Tiffany Green Eyes actually took a picture of it um, Tiffany had one in her backyard which I can only I can tell you guys just like don't here's Tiffany's like assassin bug like do not get bitten by this thing um, it carries like horrific diseases and so be careful Theo actually I don't know this is one of those where you know we've talked about like what would happen if we killed off all the mosquitoes right and it would be like really bad because most mosquitoes actually don't carry disease most of them are like totally innocuous and they like they're they're pollinators right and they they're eaten by other things um probably the same issue with this one there's seven thousand species of assassin bugs um in 20 different families like of relatedness so it's like a pretty diverse group but the ones that you will regularly encounter whether guys if you're in like i think it's they're pretty prevalent in california it looks like but also just all around um I was, I also found like, it turns out their bites are quite not, are quite kind of painful. So inter don't do that. We're gonna talk about some of those disease vectors. Um, they are really, really smart too. They attract other insects with tricks, which I didn't know there was a hunting insect that does tricks like this one. It actually, there's one species that has a little like bob and it sticks it, it we'll have we'll see the video it sticks it out of like a hole in a tree and like wiggles it around and an ant, like ants will be like oh what is this and they'll come near and then it'll eat it like it's 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 no not even tricks like the cereal or card tricks like this is like next level hunting tricks for a bug like oof uh very scary but okay so we're gonna talk about an assassin bugs today um the assassin bug is a very, very fascinating insect. It's also known as the kissing bug. Not for any good things. It's actually one of a highly studied research organism for the sake of how it transmits disease and how we can stop it from transmitting disease. Now here's the catch. There are 7,000 different species of kissing bug. Um, they're in 20 different families, meaning 20 different like batches of relatedness. Uh, one load of dishes in. Let's go, WinMD. Let's go. Um, their size. So they can be... They're not very big. You can see from this picture that we have up from Tiffany Green Eyes. Um, we're talking like 12 to 30 millimeters in length is for most of these bug species. So they're not very big, which can be a good or bad thing. It can be one where, okay, they're not going to be like running out and bothering you. And actually, the, I have some videos. They're quite beautiful in their variants. But they can also, given how small they are, they can catch you and drink your blood pretty readily. So they're bigger than mosquitoes, so you'll know this then more likely, or more readily, but they're still not so big that you're gonna necessarily see them coming, which is kind of the scary side of things. Um, bug, insect, both. Oh, um. Oh, this is always, you know, even the insectologists, I get a little. Uh, I believe there, there are insects because they're in the class Insecta. Um, I was looking at, and there because then they're also Hymenoptera. So they're in the same like phylogenetic cluster as you start going for wasps. So because of that, they're in the insect branch. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. It took me a second. Um, so they're insect. Um, the one in the yard looked like a black praying mantis. Yeah. Oh, so, so look at their body plan, right? They're very bendy looking if anything right and well i will have like higher res images as well but i wanted to show this off that there's a bunch like tiffany just found one outside and so it's like oh look a cool bug blunt told me bugs are cool which i, I granted i have always told y'all bugs are cool this one can be a little um scary why there can't be more normal names like micro pachycephalosaurus that's true hugan that's I, I don't know master hugan that's a great question um so one of the interesting fact, and we're gonna get into videos and chat about this a little further, but the feeding is the big component of it. So it actually, so remember how we talked about how when a mosquito injects you and like sucks your blood, 
it spits back spit and that spit is what you have a negative reaction to and like makes you itch so that's what and then the bump on your skin is bigger if their proboscis moves around and searches for a capillary so they get more spit in you making a bigger lump that's itchy um so assassin bugs kissing uh, uh flies uh also have an interesting saliva except they intentionally spit saliva into their prey and that uh, saliva liquefies the insides of the, the prey that they are spitting into. So they have like, it's not just an immune, re a negative immune reaction people are, things are having. It's like they actually like liquefy the innards of their prey. So already their, their, venom, their venom is really, really cool. Um, and so because of like how toxic the venom is, they can take down usually much bigger prey because it's very, very fast acting. Um, their prey can be many different kinds of bugs, um, ants, spiders, you kind of name it. It's, they tend to stay on the bug side of things to eat. Um, they aren't aggressive to humans unless threatened. No, yes, exactly. You just don't poke. They also, so the Chagas disease is a trypanosome disease. And we will look at trypanosomes as well. Trypanosomes are like little wiggly creatures that we may have actually seen in some of the pond 